Where can you find one of the best preserved ghost towns in one of the more remote areas of the West? We'll show you one that is actually a double feature here on Ghost Towns and More. Deep in the heart of West Central Nevada is a place so remote one would have to wonder how people could survive, let alone want to be there. When gold and silver were discovered in the Shoshone mountain range, it was enough to motivate quite a few people to make a go of forming the Union Mining District. A number of claims were worked in some of the canyons, and soon the town of Berlin was established in 1897. The gold and silver veins seemed promising enough that a 30-stamp mill was constructed along with several other buildings in the town. A post office opened in 1900 and the population grew to about 300 by the year 1905. Compared to other mining boom towns at the time, Berlin was relatively small, but producing steady gains. The tunnels underground spanned three miles and the results seemed promising in the remote and arid Nevada desert. Troubles began in 1907 when the miners decided to go on strike, demanding better wages. Mine owners contended they couldn't afford to pay more, and for good reason. That same year, a financial panic back east sent the country into an economic tailspin due to bad business deals with banks which created a ripple effect across the entire country. The economic stability of the little town of Berlin was no exception, and the clouds on the financial horizon were already spelling doom for the viability of the town. People started moving away. Some residents and determined mine operators hung on, but by 1911, it was over. Berlin barely survived, and even the post office called it a day and closed its doors for good just a week before Christmas in 1918. Berlin was a company town, and the ownership changed hands a few times with new efforts in exploratory mining, picking up now and then to see if mining could be revived. But it wasn't to be. Then in 1928, Paleontologist Dr. Simon Muller of Stanford University discovered fossilized remains of giant ichthyosaurs. They were on the slopes of the mountain just two miles south of Berlin. Dr. Muller and other scientists helped unearth some of the largest fossilized remains of these creatures ever found. Years later, the area comprising the ghost town of Berlin and the fossil site were both designated into the Berlin Ichthyosaur State Park, where visitors can come and see the fossilized remains inside a protective building, as well as enjoy a self-guided tour throughout the ghost town of Berlin. The well-preserved buildings offer visitors a chance to see some of the workings involved in the ambitious mining projects of the time, and park staff are on hand to answer any questions. Remnants of old buildings and artifacts here are so picturesque, they are calendar worthy. The state park is open almost all year, and there is a modest entrance fee. Services are scarce in this remote area, so if you do go, be sure to have plenty of gas in the tank and extra supplies to spend the day visiting this fascinating area representing two very different time periods of history. <music>